In this lesson, we look at what makes something linear and we compare two things that are not linear. The graph of a linear function shows a constant rate of change. So if something is nonlinear, then it does not have a constant rate of change. What does that really mean? What does a constant rate of change mean when you're looking at a function? So if I look at example A, it's going down 8 every time. Since this rate is constant, constant means it's the same, since this is constant, then that means it's linear. If we look at letter B, this is 9, and that's 22, and that's 55, and so since this is not constant, meaning, meaning that it's not the same every time, then this is nonlinear. So that's what linear functions look like in a table. What do linear functions look like in a graph? Well, as we know, linear equations are lines. So is letter A a line? No, because lines are straight by definition, and this is not a straight line. So this is non-linear. In letter B, is that a straight line? Yes, it absolutely is, which means that this is linear. So for graphs, we're looking for lines. That's what makes them linear. And the last type that we can look at is the um, equation format. So remember, linear functions are in the form of y equals mx plus b. So if I can write these in mx plus b form, then they're linear. So can you write letter A in y equals mx plus b form? Well, you certainly can because that's 0x plus 4.7. So the slope is 0 and the intercept is 4.7. So that's certainly linear. Which other ones are linear? Well, letter B is certainly linear because pi is just a number, so that's essentially like 3.14x plus 0. So that's linear. And remember, we're looking for y equals mx plus b form. Letter D is also linear because you could distribute and you'd get y equals 4x minus 4. So the answer is letter C. That's not linear. And one of the things that you want to look for in order to make things nonlinear is if you have an, an x or any variable in the denominator of a fraction. That makes things nonlinear. Also, is if there are any exponents in the question. So you could have something that looks like this, or if you have like y equals x squared. That would also be nonlinear because we've never been graphing anything that had an exponent in it. We will, but just not yet. They're not linear. Last one together. Account A earns simple interest and account B earns compound interest. Um, simple interest and compound interest are just different types of interest that come when you open a bank account. And typically, it's compound interest. I don't really know any banks that give simple interest, but simple interest is much easier math, so that's really the one that you've dealt with so far. The table shows the balance for five years. Graph and compare the data. So first thing is I want to do is I want to graph account A. So account A is the points 0, 100, 1, 1, 10, 2, 120, 3, 130, etc. So let's graph that. And since nothing's negative, I'm going to stay in that first quadrant. And, and I can skip all the stuff lower than 100 because I'm making a line graph. So I can just skip all the stuff where there's no numbers and start at 100 and go by tens. And this will go by 1s. 
So let's graph our data. So there's my graph, and I'll just label it with an A for account A. When I go to graph account B, it's the point 0, 100, 1, 110, 2, 121, 3, 133.10, etc. So when you're graphing it, just estimate where they are the best that you can. Obviously, you're not going to get the perfect exact spot, but you just want to estimate where your dot's supposed to be. So they start off about the same, but then around year two, account A starts increasing a little more. And towards the very tail end, around year five, account B seems to kind of pick up a little, and it turns nonlinear. So um, we have to compare the data. So I'll simply say account B is nonlinear, whereas account A is linear, because that's the lesson we're talking about. But in theory, you could write anything else that you wanted to write that's comparing the difference between the two graphs. If you have any questions, write them down and ask me when you see me next.